Good morning. Hi, Taki. The past few weeks, we have been going through a series entitled The Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Why did He come? And what is His significance in the life of the Christian? Today, we'll be talking about another role of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in the church as well. A few days ago, a friend of mine from another church asked me a very, very interesting question. He asked me, Mike, why are there many denom- Christian denominations? So many divisions, so many factions, so many splits among Christians. Bakit ba tayo away ng away, he said. And I was quiet because I don't know really exactly how to respond to that question. Then he asked another question. He says, how about you? What do you think about that? What do you think about all this fragmentation among the body of Christ? And so I said, I think it's both good and bad. Let me share to you what I mean. It's good because when churches divide or split, they are able to have more reach to different places and different people. That means more churches. That means when we spread ourselves, we cover more areas and share the message of, of Christ. Sometimes it's also good because you see a variety in a tapestry of different colors of Christianity. But I said it's also bad because there's lots of pride and unforgiveness and hatred among fellow believers. It's very, very sad. When fellow believers, fellow Christians fight among each other. Mahatma Gandhi, the founder of modern India, almost became a Christian. Mahatma Gandhi but what stopped him was the fighting among Christians. He said, Christ, I like. Christians, I do not like. He says, Christianity is the only army in the world that shoots its own soldiers. We're not supposed to be like that. The Bible invites us to be united, to be one in Jesus Christ as fellow believers. That's why Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 8, says this. So it is with the peace of the day to it's a cow to put that on any. Paul says, therefore, if there's any encouragement in Christ, if there's any consolation of love, if there's any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. 
And then he went on, he says, Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. He says, Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with, of, with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bond servant, and being made in the likeness of men, he humbled himself. In a sense, Paul is telling us that the key to unity is humility. Notice that he gives us several signs, several attitudes, several principles that break our pride, break the walls that divide us, and keep us united as fellow Christians. First, he invites us to discover the right sources of unity. We can be united for the wrong reasons and the wrong things. But he invites us to be united for the right things. The Bible says, first we have to find encouragement in Christ. Encouragement means to come alongside with, to, to be assisting someone, to offer comfort to someone. When we have this attitude of encouraging others or coming alongside others or walking with others, comforting others, we develop an atmosphere of unity. The second source of unity is the consolation of love. Consolation literally means to talk softly. Talk softly. Consolation. In a sense, the Bible is inviting us to be gentle in our conversations, to be to be loving in our relationships with one another. Third, he mentions the fellowship of the Spirit. It means partnership and mutual sharing of, of, of the believers. And then he says, affection and compassion. These are the qualities that characterize Christ. Tender, gentle, compassionate. He encourages the weak and strengthens those who need help. We should be gracious in our treatment of others, of one another. We don't have to agree, but we have to be compassionate and loving and gentle to one another. This is the same thing that Paul says in Ephesians chapter 4. He says, maintain the unity of the Spirit. He says, because we have one God, we have one Lord. We have to be united. You see, notice he, he mentions we have one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father. Sang 
In other words, there are, mer- or there are more things that are common among us. There are more things we can agree on than, that, than things that we disagree on. We may come from different places, different backgrounds, different opinions, different denominations, but we have one, one faith, one Lord, one God. The grace we experience in our church, the gifting of the Spirit that we experience in our church, is the same grace, the same gifting, the same salvation that the other Christian churches are experiencing. We are one. We are the same. This is the same thing that Paul says in, in 1 Corinthians. He says, we are the body of Christ. We, each, each part of us belongs to the same body. Have you seen a body separated? It's horrible. It's a horror story when the hand moves on its own, separated from the body. It's ugly. It's terrible. So when the Bible speaks of we are the body of Christ, it means there's no way, there's no excuse. We, we cannot separate ourselves from the other Christians. There was a church many, many years ago. There was a church somewhere in Kaloocan, an evangelical church who had a split. And so when, when I asked what was the split about, what was the division all about? The division was about drums. The younger Christians wanted to use drums to worship God. The older members says drums is demonic. It's not of God. Can you imagine that? A 60-year-old evangelical church split because of drums. It broke my heart. I was crying because we're losing our testimony and our message to the community. The people were laughing at us. They're fighting each other because of an instrument. There was a time I was in a prayer gathering of pastors from different Christian churches. There was a Baptist, there was a Methodist, there was a Pentecostal, there was a Charismatic, there was an Evangelical, there was a Presbyterian, there was an Episcopalian. You don't have to mention those names. Those are, you know, technical terms. We have different names, but from different churches, we were, we were praying together. After the prayer, we were having a chat. And one of them says, you know, in our church, in our baptism, we immerse. We allow the person to be under the water. That's our mode of baptism. The other pastor says, no, in our church, we pour water. We don't submerge people under the water. We pour water on them. That's our baptism. The other pastor says, no, we don't submerge. We don't pour. We sprinkle water. So we sick, we sick lang in baptism namin. And suddenly the prayer meeting becomes an argument and they were debating what verse and what theology and 
It's so ugly. So, when I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital. And so I was the referee. I said, it doesn't matter what baptism, how, what style do you use. If you can want to use a shower, it's okay. But as long as you baptize the person in the name of Christ. So I was in the hospital. 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 Why does this happen? There are many reasons why we have different opinions, different interpretations on, 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 our, on our perspectives about, about Christian teachings. One of the reasons is because we are finite beings trying to understand an infinite being. Being. It's like a cup trying to contain the ocean. So finite beings misinterpret or understand things differently and limitedly, and therefore our interpretations are are partial and, and, and incomplete. So in we lan si ujipan u han ze lang nan bo hua tang jin jia wan zuan e liao kai jida tai ji. That's why we have to be humble and realize that we may not have all the answers yet. So in lan pi su tio ujike kiam pi e sim di hea gong sing ding gong se lan bo bo zain ya long chong e ze tap an. So we don't have to agree with other believers, but we have to love, we have to be one. Because we're brothers and sisters in the Lord. The key to unity is humility. You see, it's, it is, it's not theology that unites us. It's not, it's, not, it's not a statement of doctrine that unites us. It's, you notice, it's an attitude of humility. It's an attitude of love that binds us together. That's why 1 Corinthians 13 says, remember, you, you, may, you may eloquently explain the most profound truths. You may speak Profoundly about certain doctrines, but if you don't have love, you don't have love. You're just a clashing symbol and a noisy gong. So it is according to Jian Su, Zap Sa Zat Yu Gong. Sui Dian Nan Wu Jin Zui Un Su, Wa Chong Jin Zui Dai Ji. Nan Si Nan Na Bo Tia Xim. Nan Si Bu Guo Si Zhi Ge Xia Di Xia Le Cha Lang. And so when I hear other pastors, other believers criticize other churches or other pastors. They're correct. There are many things that they say are correct, and I agree with them. But there's no love. It's it's a noisy gong. Usi chun guai tia tio ah liang wei zhi ge tuan duo lang, gap zhi ge ba de tuan duo lang di xia le bo ho se si chun. Wei gam ga gong se in bo tia xin, in si an ni si le di xia le ho lang bo ho se. There's no humility. Zui long zhong si tio u kian bie xin. Can you imagine that? You are correct. But you're wrong. There's no love. The second thing we can learn from this passage is this. Paul invites us to display the right signs for unity. First, he says we must have the same mind. To have the same mind means to have a common understanding. To be like-minded is to have the same, we have to agree on the same purpose, the same goal. Why are we Christians? What's our goal? Is it to expand our territories or is it to glorify God and represent God to the world? 
有一个神的意念的意思，就是咱要有神的一个目标，底下要为主底下来传道。Then he says we we need to maintain the same love. 伊也是讲到咱必须要保持贴心。This is the the love that comes from having the same mind. We don't have to be the same. We don't have to be to agree on all things, but we have to love because we are one. 这个贴心是出自有神的意念底下流露出来。It's based on our common love for Jesus Christ. You're my brother. You're my sister. Therefore, I love you. We may not agree on certain things, but we have to love one another. Let us hear him. In we let us give to let us give to hear hear sing this hear him hear let us hear Jesus Christ. Let us hear him. 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 The world will know that you belong to me when you love one another. Then, Chu Zhu Ya so Gong Se, let na di here be two sa tian si zun, zuan se lin zhu zai yan, di si xiok di guai, in we lin be two sa tian. Don't get me wrong. Doctrinal truth is important. Theology is important. But it's not the sign that the world sees that we belong to God. It's our love for one another. 我希望恁袂误会我啊！宗教的教导是真正的重要，但是更加重要是咱要彼此有三听，因为安尼咱才有法当互人知影咱是属的主耶稣的。And then he says we need to be united in spirit. 使徒保罗用啊讲说，咱要伫遐伫灵内面就有合一。The word here is one soul. We have one soul. We have one spirit living in us. We have one God whom we worship. Different as we are, we are one. 圣灵内边啊有合一的意思，就是咱着上一个灵，底下啊三个彼此三体，因为咱是合在一个身躯的。And we have one purpose as well. 咱有上一个啊主，上一个上帝，上一个目标。This is the same thing that he's mentioning in Philippians chapter one, standing together with one spirit, one purpose. 这项大事，使徒保罗在腓立比书有有第一就讲，咱就底下三个啊，徛在一个地位，底下三个有一个目标。我该用阿威能阿威 ，That's what Paul is saying. 使徒保罗，咱就意思讲，简单讲，说咱唔忘冤家。When we understand that our enemy is not the other Christian, when we understand that the enemy is not the church, we will be united in fighting a common enemy. When we understand that the enemy is not the church, we will be united in fighting a common enemy. When we understand that the enemy is not the church, we will be united in fighting a common enemy. This is the same thing he says in First Corinthians one: one mind, united in thought and purpose. 提高领导，有时也是广告安尼上有，咱就上一个意念，上一个目标。We don't have to be the same, but we have to be united. 咱无需要啊，大家拢啥上，但是咱就合起来上一个目标。Can you imagine a day, a time when all Christians of different colors and different brands and different persuasions will 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 break the walls that divide us and work together in unity, in love? And the world will know that we belong to Christ. Then, by so doing, say, "Bo sang, bo sang, kwan ne ki tok to di ha zi di da u wang hap i de si zun." Then u wang hap zi ge bo piao de si zun u hua dang zi ge u hua dang gai bian zuan se gai. I don't care if you use drums or you use 16th century Beethoven music in your worship, but if you love Jesus Christ, you you are a believer in Jesus Christ. You're my brother. You're my sister. 我无管，看你咧拍歌、用歌、敬拜主，还是无，还是别的方法。上帝重要就是咱底下就有听心，彼此来啊，底下来啊，相信咱的上帝。Sometimes when Christians are divided or fragmented, it makes you sad. 有时阵咱啊，看到基督徒无合一的时阵，会好咱也更可惜。But looking at the brighter side, diversity is good. 但是咱看到啊。无上无上，基督徒的方法也是有一个好处。It's a beautiful tapestry of different persuasions and different traditions and different emphasis and different styles and different methods of doing church and doing ministry, different preaching styles, different worship styles, different music, different culture. 
coming together to worship one God, one Lord, one faith. In Sweden, there could be unity amidst our diversity. Because we have Jesus Christ. There was a time in a seminary when there is a debate between two pastors from different theological persuasions. One pastor believes salvation can be lost. And there are many passages to support that position. The elect will be deceived, there will be falling away from the believers, people will lose the faith. On the other side of the debate, the pastor believes salvation can never, never be lost. God will not abandon His children. We are secure in Christ forever. So both of them, many, many passages to support their position, eloquently defended both sides as if both are correct. So hundreds of Christians from different churches were watching this debate in a seminary. So, both positions were eloquently and profoundly defended well. At the end of the debate, both pastors came together and embraced one another. And all the believers were crying. There are many things that are not yet clear. We don't have to agree all the time. But we have to be one. We are not enemies. We are brothers and sisters in the Lord. The world will know that you are my disciples, not because you have an excellent doctrinal faith. The world will know that you are my disciples it's because of how you relate with your brothers and sisters in Christ. The key to unity is humility. Many times, the problem is not high IQ. There are many people in church who have high IQ. The problem is low EQ. We just don't know how to love well. We just don't know how to relate well amidst our diversity and differences. And many of us are grew up with a lot of hurts and wounds and we become insecure people. Psychologists say insecure people are angry people and argumentative people. If you have a lot of insecure people in the churches, there will be lots of arguments because insecure people, they have this passion to prove that they are right and everyone is wrong. That's insecurity. 
所以感觉因无啊，底下安全的时阵，因就是感觉咱就因也爱啊，点点掉，点点就是因是掉诶。Some some people will criticize churches simply because they use a different Bible version. It's very very insecure. 有一个人咧批评教会，因所用的啊圣经是无甲咱无同的，因就是感觉因是掉诶。Some Christians will boycott churches because they the songs they sing. They don't agree with. We ki doctor in bo ai ki ah ji ke gao hui, in wei in cam gak in ye si gua bo sui. Or some people very very insecure. They will criticize preaching styles because they prefer a preaching approach. We 就是一直批评啊团导人诶啊伊个团导诶方法。But the more we are secure in our relationship with God, the more we are generous and gracious. And loving and gentle towards others who don't agree with us. 但是咱也是伫主耶稣内面，伫咱的上帝内面，感觉安全的时阵，咱就底下有法当甲人彼此相听。So the third thing we can learn from this passage is this: we have to do the right steps to unity. 第三项，咱有法当学习的就是咱要有第二步骤，底下有法当得到合一。The first thing he says is to reject selfishness. And then he says, forsake empty conceit. Empty conceit is essentially arrogant pride. You have to reject that. Then he says, we have to have humility of mind. Humility of mind is the opposite of selfish ambition. It's the opposite of empty conceit. And then he says, "Do not merely look out for your own interest, but for the interest of others as well." It's like the key to unity and harmony in the body of Christ among churches, among believers. It's really the attitude of humility, the attitude of generosity, it's the attitude of patience and love toward one another, in spite of our differences. 就是讲说，咱有法当得到合一，就是主要性就是咱要谦卑，在教会内面，还是在咱的家庭内面。Before Jesus died on the cross at Gethsemane, he prayed a prayer. He he prayed a lot of things, but he prayed specifically that Christians will become one, that we will be united. It's like Jesus anticipated there will be fighting and fighting all the time. 当主耶稣被钉钉十字架时阵，伊有为伊个人祈祷，就是伊祈祷讲说伊个人会合一，伫遐袂分离。He says, God, before he dies, he pray, God, I pray that believers now and believers in the future they will be united, Lord. 伊个祈祷是咱就安尼，上帝啊，好我跩人有法当合一，伫我面前有法合一。They say that the most important things in a person's life is that the things he says before he dies. Jesus prayed this before he died. Lord, the world will laugh at them if they keep on fighting each other. Help them love each other. 当主耶稣被钉钉十字架时阵，伊最啊重要祈祷就是，好咱有法当合一，底下无冤家，好啊世界人有通知影咱是属第一个。Let them stop shooting each other. Sometimes I read on blogs criticizing other pastors, other churches, other believers. It breaks my heart because they are, they are right. What they're saying is right, but there's no love. There's no humility. Remember, there was a time the apostles were complaining to Jesus. They will, they will, they, they told Jesus, Lord, there's a group there. There's a group. They're casting demons in your name. They're healing people in your. They're helping people in your name, but they're not like us. They they don't belong to us. They don't smell like us. They don't teach like us. They don't sing like us. They don't speak like us. They they don't dress like us. 
咱咧今日主导，同在主导，伫遐咧共主耶稣讲说，有一班人咧用主的名伫遐咧赶出鬼，咧医治跩病人，但是因讲说，跩人唔是属伫咱的，甲咱无相的。Jesus said， 主耶稣讲 ，Whoever is not against us is for us。怀唔是啊，对敌人呢，就是啊，属敌人呢。We we may argue and win arguments and defend our truth until we are blue, but if we don't have love, we're nothing. 有时阵，咱会啊，袂彼此同意，啊，是咱会辩论，互咱啊，真。也受气，但是咱无会去听心。An example to follow, a pattern to follow is the life of Christ, a life of humility, a life of of grace and generosity and love for others, even with those who don't agree with Him. 有一个真好诶榜样，就是咱诶主耶稣诶生命。当伊活着诶时阵，伊活一个有听心诶生命，伫遐真温柔、真谦卑。There was a time in one of my classes in seminary. I teach theology sometimes when I want my nose to bleed. <laughs> uh, one of the students came to me and asked a very, very profound question. He says, Kuya Mike, who is saved? Who is going to heaven? The Catholic or the Protestant? The Baptist or the Methodist? The Presbyterian or the Episcopalian? The Charismatic or the Evangelical? The full gospel, or the half gospel, or the quarter gospel. You know, I get nervous when I get questions like this. And so I thought for a while, and hopefully, I what I what I responded was was out of wisdom. I said. I believe those who will be saved are those who trusted Jesus Christ as their God, their Messiah, their Savior, and their Redeemer. So I just began to think, I think I should have answered it properly. I just said, "The Catholic Church is the true Church of Jesus Christ, the Son of God." And so I said, "Therefore, some Catholics will go to heaven. Some Catholics will go to hell." Some Protestants will go to heaven. Some Protestants will go to hell. Because your church does not save you. I said, I was born Protestant, but I know I'm going to hell unless I receive Christ as my God. And I said, I have Catholic friends who are born again because they accepted Christ, never left the Catholic Church. And they don't bow to statues, they don't pray to saints anymore. They love Jesus, they follow Jesus, but they're Catholic. And I said, I have many Protestant friends who know the Bible, follow the Bible, believe the Bible, eat the Bible, but they're going to hell. They go to church, but they're not born again. 
，因虽然有咧去崇拜、去礼拜，但是因无真正的忠诚。You see, you don't have to agree with me. 我感觉恁无需要啊啊，甲我赞成。We don't have to agree with everything we teach. 恁虽然无无需要伫遐来啊赞成一切。Because theology cannot unite us. 因为做啊宗教的教导无法当互咱来合一。But we have to love. 乃是只有听信。We have to be one. 咱必须三甲彼此三听，底下做完得着合一。We don't have to be the same. 虽然咱无需要三生 ，But we have to be one. 但是咱必须会合一 ，Because we have one Lord. 所以咱底下就合一起来。We have one faith. 咱有上一个主，上一个信仰。May you be an agent of unity in the body of Christ. 但愿咱每一个人有法当啊，正做上帝合一底下来建立合一个的人。May your blogs, may your conversations, may your messages add to the breaking of walls and to the shattering of pride and arrogance, and bring healing to the churches that love Jesus Christ. 但愿咱每一个人的信息。咱每一个人的沟通，有法当伫遐来拆毁跩墙，让咱每一个人有法合一起来。May you be an answer to the prayer of Jesus。当然，咱咱有法当正做主耶稣基督的啊，伊的基督的答案。May we shame the world who laugh at the church and show them that we belong to Christ because we love one another. 但我咱有法当互世界受见笑，因为咱有法当互因看到咱是合一有彼此相听的一班人。I may not always agree with you, but you are my brother, you're my sister, as long as you trust and give your life to Christ. 虽然有时阵我袂赞成恁，但是我有啊，就是咱是彼此相听的一班人，因为咱是兄弟姊妹。Christianity is the strongest force on earth. Only if we can be one. 基督教伫啊世界一个大洲是最最强的力，只那伊的方法就是咱要同一个心，三合底下合一起来。Let's all stand. Let's pray. 三合来祈祷。Thank you, Lord, because you are the God who started your church. You invited us to be part of your body by your grace and by your blood, by your salvation. We have been engrafted and adopted as children, sons and daughters of God, because of Jesus Christ. There's only one body, only one faith, one Lord, one Spirit that unites us all. Forgive our arrogance. Forgive our superiority. If we have felt like we know all the answers, and all our answers are 100% totally correct, and the others are totally wrong, God give us humility. God give us love. For at the end, it's not our arguments that unite us. It's not our statements and doctrines. That will show that we belong to you. But it's our love for one another. God, heal the church, break the walls that divide us, rescue us from the wrong battles we are in. Forgive us if we're fighting the wrong enemies and we have labeled our family members as enemies. God, They are not our enemies. The other denominations and the other churches are not our enemies. We're all beggars trying to tell people where to find bread. We're all finite in our understanding of the truth, limited in our perspectives. God, make us humble. Make us loving, O God. Make the church become one. To stand together, to work together, 
to serve together, to change nations together, make the world a better place together, to speak for you to a dying world together. One body, one church, one spirit, one faith. Help us, O God. Teach us, O God. Change us, O God. Change our hearts. Change our minds. Make us better people. Make us better in how we relate with our fellow believers. Help us inflict damage on the enemy because we love people who disagree with us. Because we have the same Lord. God, have mercy on the church. Amen.